Hey guys, welcome back to Zeus Master of Olympus, but today we are going to start the expansion Poseidon Master of Atlantis. So, as you know, the, the playlist will be set so that I've got the Zeus content in their playlist and the Poseidon content in, that, in this separate playlist. I'll also have a combined playlist for both uh, sets of adventures so you can just run right through it from beginning to end without changing to another playlist. So we are going to start uh, Poseidon Master of Atlantis. And I have removed all the saves from the other stuff, that's why there's no buttons here. So we're going to start the Breath of Atlantis. And there are, if you didn't know, there are six uh, adventures added by this campaign. The first four focus on the Atlantis side, so the Atlanteans. And it's sort of mythological, it's sort of based on random stuff, but it's kind of comedic made. The last two are sort of, well, the last couple are, they go back to the Zeus mechanics. There are a lot of changed things in the Poseidon adventures and there's a lot of things that added so I will go through them in just a minute once we get into the campaign but here we go the first campaign we're going on to the first adventure sorry the birth of Atlantis your great father Atlas is intent on building the continent of Atlantis into a mighty nation unsurpassed by any the world has ever seen he has turned on you to for help in achieving this goal this is a fairly easy adventure that consists of seven parent city episodes and two colony episodes they do tell you how many colonies, which is actually not too bad, but let's head on to the adventure. My dearest child, for a long time now you have enjoyed the benefits that come to the offspring of a king. Now it is time for you to assume the responsibility that your high birth demands. Each of my nine brothers deserves a kingdom, and as the eldest, I have pledged to personally assist them to found their kingdoms. First, I am going to help Gadiris, my own twin, build his city. While I am away, I am entrusting you to construct a fair and mighty city here near the hill where I was born and raised. Poseidon himself dug the water-filled trenches that encircle the hill, protecting it from enemies. The city that you build will become the capital of all of Atlantis, so be sure that the city befits its stature. Good luck! Thank you for that. So this is the first mission, the capital city. We just need a thousand people and 500 people in homestead are better. We will be playing on Titan difficulty and due to some issues I can't get the word hard into the title because there's some campaigns, uh, some missions in the campaign that have such long titles that they would not be able to fit. So the word Titan or hard will not be in the title description, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to tell you right now the whole game will be on Titan. So let's head to the city and pause. So. As I said, Poseidon and Master of Atlantis changes a lot of things. One of those changes is that culture becomes science. So things like the podium, the gymnasium, the stadium that are replaced by science buildings. So for the first four adventures, we get science buildings. So there'll be a bit of a difference, but the mechanics work the same. Now that the food changes, um, this adventure is unique. It is the only one that provides you every resource apart from silver in the map. Um, we're going to have a look at the map though, but this is the city of Atlantis, we've got a hill right here, don't build here. There is a mission that requires you to put something here, don't build there. This inner ring, of course, is needed for something in the final mission of this adventure, so again, don't build things here, otherwise you will have to destroy it. That's why this is here, so we can build pretty much everything, we have a ridiculous amount of farmland, there's all this farmland here, a lot of space, it's not much space when considering how much you're going to need. We get new uh, industries we've got uh where is it um where is it uh yeah we've got copper ore as normal but there's some new ore in this map oracalc ore uh, this is mysterious oracalc ore once it is transported to oracalc metal at a refinery it can be used to adorn buildings it's usually used as a resource in pyramids that you have to build in some missions another resource we get is black marble which is also used in poseidon um uh, Monuments. So, this is the only mission that provides you every resource in it, so we can grow wheat, sheep, uh, this is new, coral and cattle. Now, you'll remember that in Zeus, uh, you had missions where you could import meat. You couldn't grow it, so it was an import-only item. Uh, Poseidon makes it possible to make your own meat. I don't care about this industry. In fact, there's only a few missions where I have to use this, where I, which is annoying. Fishing and hunting, we're not bothered with that. Uh, new food type, orange. Um, you'll remember in Atlanta, uh, not Atlantis, Athens, there was a city, I don't know if I sh showed it in the Let's Play, there is a city that sells oranges, I think it, it might be either sells or buys it. 
Of course, you can't grow oranges until this mission. They work essentially like, um, like all of trees in that. Uh, but they do produce a food set. There's one mission where I heavily use um, oranges, which is not this mission. But we've got a large amount of farmland here. There's no space to build any city housing over here. So this is going to be my olive oil and wine area. But my other industries around this bit as well. And over here we'll have all the farms and carding sheds. So lots of, it doesn't look at, it looks as if there's a lot of space that actually isn't that much space. Um, now... Because there's all the resources provided here, you don't have to import a thing. There's nothing to import. But if we have a look at the world map, new world map, that only has Atlantis on it. So you might recognise some of the areas. Ignoring this bit here, there's Spain, France, and a bit of the UK just there. Of course, it's not really. And a bit of Africa here as well and all that. So we do sort of go across the boundaries quite a bit into other areas. So we do start to see uh, countries like Egypt appearing in the, the campaigns. But here on Atlantis, we have nothing. So... I'm going to build out the first housing block, and I will um, put down these new buildings, and I'll tell you how they work. And uh, the houses actually get changed. Also, the bridges have a change as well. They don't look like just wooden planks. They are actually proper arch built, um, arched stuff. Um, unfortunately, to get over here, you're going to have to go kind of a awkward way. You have to go across there. So there will be a lot of bridges around this bit to get over here, which is annoying. But it's okay. Down here will be where we'll have elite housing in time. But uh, for the most part, we're just going to concentrate on basic common housing. That's all we have. And I will come back in once we have planned out some housing blocks. Okay, we have the semblings of our city. I am going to do the city centre street idea again in this one. And I think quite a lot of the Poseidon missions have very large map spaces where this is pretty much obvious. So every mission will probably have something like this. Uh, a couple of colonies won't, but that's okay. But I will be able to get four housing blocks around this bit here. One here, one here, one here. Maybe one just crammed in the back here. I don't know. It's quite tight because of these rocks. And we'll have another housing block up here. And a couple down here. So there will be space all over this place to put down these things. But for now, we're just going to go with this. We're keeping it simple. Let's unpause and find out where they come from. They come up from here. Now, what's our game speed set to? It is set to 80. Now let's come in. So what we're going to do is I put this in a nice place where there's just a couple of tiles right here to put down sheep. Like this. So I can just sort of put down all the stuff in here. I'm going to put that there to accept fleece. Um, now a lot of the, as I, as I said, um, all the resources are pretty much provided to you on this map. And a lot of Poseidon adventures don't have these difficulties like they had in like Athens where you couldn't make money at all in the first mission. From pretty much the first mission of every uh, adventure you can make money. There's one or two exceptions but that doesn't matter right now. So we'll get the people coming in. Now one thing I have to tell you, the housing in the Poseidon missions, the first four anyway, um, have a different top to them. Um, we can't see them here because we can't. Um, but there is a different um, housing structure, which you will see over time. So we do have to get 1,000 people and 500 people in homestead are better. So there is a bit of a challenge. So let's just um, waste our money since we've got um, nothing to worry about. Oh, Train City will become available to you, um, but not right now. Let's just start by this, get the people coming in. And we just have to wait for people to move in. Population mass of 100, that's not too bad. So our farms are now starting to work, which is good. And I haven't shown you these culture buildings. We're going to put down a bibliothèque. Uh, this can't access the labour pool. No one works in this bibliothèque, sorry. The reading room has been closed and no scholars are learning anything. So it's basically a library. If you remember from uh, previous games, there was a library. That's all this is. It's essentially a library building. Um, the the um, astronomy is slightly different. You provide um, astronomy. Now notice that the buildings are huge in here. So we've got this astronomy, astronomy tower. I can't even say the damn word properly. So we have this uh, which provides access to uh, astronomy. And then we've got the university which goes, which is like the destination walker. It sends out the, the thing needed. But I can tell you now that the astronomy stuff is a very, there's a lot of large buildings. So you will use up a lot of space. Uh, unlike in other words where they were quite small buildings, uh, you will use up lots of space putting these things down. So at this point I can't do anything else except wait for people to move in. We are just about to get rid of our labour shortage, but here's the wheat coming in. 
I will wait to stockpile this a bit more because we've only got 8 wheat. Uh, so I'll run this on and I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Important event. Gady is discovered. Greetings to Duke. Explorers have returned from their exploits and report that they have discovered a place called Gady's. So let's just have a look on the map. It is right here. We're already trading with them as an ally. So they buy meat and oracalca. And I'm going to sell oracalca. It is quite, uh, worth quite a bit. They sell us marble and black marble, which we don't need anyway. We can grow that ourselves. So uh, if I just put down the trade post for Gady's somewhere here, I'll just put it here. Uh, oracalca sells for 140 drachma. So it's actually very profitable to sell. Uh, so let's just um, set this oracalc industry up. I'm going to just do this. And we are, so we've got every resource here apart from um, mints, which is actually quite interesting. Uh, so we've got timber mill, masonry shop, and um, black marble workshop is the same as a masonry shop. Uh, refinery, we're going to put down, um, let's just, one, two, three. They do cost a bit actually, 135, so they, the oracalc costs as much as it does to pay for these and refineries, which is not very helpful, so we'll just put down this takes it oracalc. It's sort of like bronze, really. They go out, they go out, attack the, the oracalc, and then come back, refine it, and then you go oracalc. Uh, so we'll just wait for our next harvest to come in. Now, there are there are requests for some of the resources you can get here. So we've got requests for oracalc and black marble and all that, so you will want to provide these, so make sure you do. Okay, let's just run this on, get the food in. I want to get the house devolved first before we do anything. Oh, plague strikes, how nice. And they had uh, apparently no um, infirmary, so let's just put that there, and I'll put that there. I'll just put those down, get rid of that plague, which is not helpful. That just wastes work. So we do start to run out of money. We started with 10,000, so we've not done very much, and we are. Uh, we're expending a lot of our cash, which is not too good. So this is our main export, really, is to sell Oracalc to Gades. Uh, because you have all the resources, you don't have to worry about imports. Taxes and exports are all you need. You don't have to worry about importing a thing in this map. So we'll get people fed and watered. And we'll actually just put down a Biblioteca right there. Um, palace, I'm not sure where I'm going to put that, to be honest. I'm just going to put it somewhere. I will need it because there are some god invasions in this adventure. Not too many, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna run this on. It wasn't got a bigger supply of food in stock, and we're ready. To, actually, we can just run this on. Now, notice we are in July 3500 BC, so we're pre. We're about the time of the Egyptians, really. Here, to be honest with you, um, run out of workers here. So let's just not that. And storage. Store up the food. There we go. And we can put down a common agora. Oh, and that's another thing I forgot to mention. In the Poseidon Adventures, uh, the military gets a change. Um, and I will talk about it later when we come to the military missions. Um, but there are some heavy changes to the military aspect. Uh, we don't have things called rabble. Um, it's sort of like Pharaoh's uh, built. You've got like your archers, your infantry, and your chariots, essentially. It's that sort of thing. So we are going to start getting some hovels here. Once these evolve, and we've got a stable food supply. Uh, I'll just put down a couple more farms. Uh, so we're going to have a road coming down here, and my elite houses will be here. I'll have to try and put them in places. So uh, There are also a couple of other changes, which I will, like, in this first adventure, this is a good adventure to get you into the Poseidon changes. So I will go through all the changes that we get as time passes. So what I'm going to do is I'll let this run. Uh, once our house is stable, we've got more workers involved. Um, I'll come back in, unless something of importance happens. Good time to come back in. Uh, Gary wants to give us marble, but that's useless because I don't need it. Anyway, I have um, put down the carding industry. I've also put down a few extra of these. Because I am anticipating a request, but for now, we are just going to sell Oracalc to Gadies because they do want that, and we've got a big supply of it to sell 12. Uh, so Gadies should... They, they come in from the south somewhere. Um, somewhere. <laughs> uh, I don't know where they're coming from, but um, yeah. I am going to put down the observatory, so as you can see, this is quite a big building, so I'm going to put it um, here. Uh, I don't think we have any monuments yet, so that's okay. Let's put down uh, that space right there, it's a good one. 
Uh, give to Marvel, don't want it. I'm going to put the university there. Because then I can block off the effect. So this sends out a... a um, the university has no profess uh, professors. No one is learning anything about astronomy or museums here. Yes, uh, you know how in the um, Zeus missions you had the gymnasium, which also sent out an, a contestant to the stadium? The university sends out a, a student, I think. Uh, we might be able to see it here in a minute. Uh, let's see. That's a shepherd. No. I hear it is. I thank the gods billions and billions of times for this city and its fine ruler. Thank you very much. So this astronomer acts basically like the actor slash gymnasium dude uh, from the gymnasium in the Zeus missions. He goes to observatories and he also goes to a museum which you can only place one of just like stadiums. And functionally they work the same way. So we are going to start selling our account here which will give us some money. This is our basic export. And what's our worker shortage like? Only eight so that's not too bad. We'll start to stockpile Fleece. I will wait until we've got a full supply before we um, start distributing it because we do have a bit of a workers issue at the moment. Uh, let me just see if I just go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's just do that. So we'll have some more farms in here and so on. So we have sold 12 Oracalc and that's given us quite a bit of money. They bought it, it all. Yeah, we hope so. <laughs> um, but let's like, start providing fleece now and we're going to pick down. One, two, three, uh, four. There and I will put down. Let me just check how far these go along. So we can go as far as there, yeah, pretty much. I'll just put that down, like so. Plenty of uh, farming space here. We will feed the whole city on wheat. What else? So we've got tenements. What's the next level, actually? Homestead. Okay, so we're actually reaching the next level. So we are starting to get some people in homesteads now, which is good. Now, I'm going to have to leave space for um, sanctuaries, because there is a place I'm going to have to put down um, the palace, and I think what I'll do is, since I don't need to build out any extra common blocks at this point, I'm going to put the palace um, here, because uh, I'm going to need it for something. Uh, do you remember the god Theseus? Um, he will need to be summoned so at some point, so I will just do this. So I think we will hit a thousand people very shortly, which is good. We don't need too much more than this, I don't think. The labour shortage will start to increase, but that's okay. Just speed this up. If I'll just take a save. Start to get the people in. We have space to hold 200 people. That'll break us through the 1000 barrier. And we should have enough to reach 500. So that's good. So we will just win this mission shortly with just these two blocks. We're going to need a big city by the end of this, actually. Um, I could get about 6,000 in most of these missions, so it's not too bad. And your main export is really just to sell Oracle. Look at the amount of money that's brought in. We've gone from 3,200 or so up to 5,300. It sells for a lot. Our Oracle is pretty uh, profitable. And um, so we will want to um, sell it. So we have, um, should be about to go through the gap now. Just speed up. How single has been met. All we now need to do is wait for people to come in. And I don't think, oh, we've got another 100 people can come in. We should reach the goal fairly quickly. I've got plenty of Oracle being made, which will allow us to win. So that is the first mission of Poseidon. Uh, I don't think you can see it here. Uh, no. Um, we could, if we wanted to, actually just go ahead and put down... Oh, no, we can't put down the collector, so never mind. But uh, we will have to summon uh, heroes and such. There are two new gods, um, two new heroes you can summon. And there is... One new god and one replacement uh, sanctuary. And there's a few extra enemy gods, uh, enemy mythological things as well. But we will expand on that over time, over this uh, Let's Play. So for now, that is uh, the first mission. I'll just speed this up. Reach the target population. And yeah, your, your main export is really just to sell stuff to Gades, the Oracle. That, that is your main export here. 
got plenty of it, they've raised plenty of money, but there we go, we have a thousand people, and we've got our first commemorative monument. Perfect. Just put that there, for later. And that's us done, we just had to wait for the mission to take over, like so. Of your progress in the city of Atlantis has reached me here in Gades, and I applaud your efforts. Hopefully, your uncle Gadiris will prove as successful in Gades as you have been in Atlantis. As you continue to work, keep in mind your familial obligations. If Gadiris or any other of your uncles requires your aid, do not hesitate to give it to them. If you help them, they will most certainly help you in your times of need. So all we have to do is protect each other. That's pretty simple. So that was the mission to Capital City. You will notice that the victory music is wrong. I don't know why they made it play the briefing music. I don't understand it, but... I think in the context of the victory screens of the Poseidon missions, this works better. So, that was the mission to Capital City. We have built the city of Atlantis. In the next part, we're going to come back to Atlantis and grow it a bit more with some more goals. So, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next part. Bye now, folks.